coach Matt Carsandu reporting for MMA Junkie and USA Today here in London, England, standing alongside Rory McDonald, who will take on Paul Daly in the main event of Bellator 179, which goes down at the SSC Arena in Wembley. And, and Rory, it's good to see you. Last time we spoke was the, the pre-fight uh, kickoff press conference. So a lot to talk to you about. The first thing is you decided to split your camp between BC and Montreal. How did that end up playing out for you eventually? Uh, it was really good. Um, I feel very prepared for this fight, very uh, focused on what I have to go out there and do. So I'm really happy with my decision. It worked out great. Do the two head coaches from the, 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 the gyms talk to each other about your training and, or are you trying to like communicate between them yourself? How does that work? Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of me being in the middle, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's good communication. Okay. I want to talk to you about some comments that Paul Daly made in the, the, the media call last week, essentially questioning you know, your will and your, your warrior spirit and what, what have you. Do you think those comments were premeditated to try and get under your skin, or do you genuinely feel like he, he thinks that you will quit in a fight? Uh, either one's fine with me. I mean, I know uh, I have a strong will, and uh, to, to break down, uh, you have to push me very far. And I just don't think he's going to be able to push me in that direction. I think it's going to be me pushing him to quit. We don't typically get a big blockbuster fight like this on our doorstep. Are you getting that sense from the people that you've spoken to that everyone's got a real buzz about this fight? Yeah, you know, the, the energy's high for this fight, I could tell from what I've been hearing. Uh, you know, everything's going really well with the event and it's, it's going to be a huge success. So I'm looking forward to delivering and uh, not disappointing these fans for what they paid for. They're going to see an action-packed fight and to see a very violent version of myself pushing the fight and uh, putting this guy away eventually. Normally, I'd say that the, the hometown guy or, or the home country guy will get most of the support. I've got a feeling, though, because you're such a cult figure and a fan favorite, you're going to get quite a few cheers. That's my gut feeling. When you're actually going to make that walk down the aisle, do you try and soak up the atmosphere or do you have tunnel vision at the task at hand? I definitely hear it. Um, it's uh, definitely the task at hand, though, that I'm focused on. I'm there for war. Um, I'm not there for any accolades or anything like that. I'm just, I'm, I'm war bound and that's where my mind's at. Obviously the winner of this fight will eventually fight Douglas Lima for the championship belt. Do you have your eye already there? Will you cut a promo after the fight or are you just focused on Paul Daly right now? Right now it's Paul Daly. Um, once I get through him, I'll take on the champion at that time. But uh, I'm focused on 100% for this Friday. You made some comments this week about um, your sponsorship uh, deal and you're going to make a, a little bit less than the last time you fought for the UFC, but this was a calculated decision by you. Can you just explain more about that and give me some details about how that played out and why you made the decision that you made? Yeah, well, my uh, I was sponsored during the Reebok deal at the UFC. Um, you know, I was with Monster, I was with Everlast, I was with Reebok. Um, unfortunately, my deal with Reebok has now come to an end. So they're no longer able to re-sign me because I'm not with the UFC any longer. Uh, we had a great relationship um, and they supported me even after I signed with Bellator, which they weren't obligated to, but you know, they showed great support and I was very happy with them and you know, I, I hope uh, the same from them to me. So um, that has come to an end now. So uh, now I'm with uh, Monster Energy and Everlast. And uh, I'm looking for those big companies, you know, for long-term support. I'm, I had the decision that I could have had patches all over me for one-fight deals just to be, you know, have their logo placement. But uh, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for, uh, you know, long-term relationships, blue-chip companies that, you know, fit well with my lifestyle and we work well together. This has also been your first fight, camera. This is your first fight as a father. So... You know, what's the like juggling, you know, being a parent and being a professional fighter for the very first time? Uh, it's, it's been good, you know, uh, that's just that extra little bit of motivation, you know. Um, having her in the back of my mind is amazing. Obviously, I miss her a ton, but we get a lot of family support. Um, so uh, I'm lucky that I get to just go here, focus on work, come back and enjoy her.